Welcome everyone to this tutorial. Today we are going to be going over some color toning methods in raw therapy. It has been a while since I made a tutorial. I'm sorry about that, but let's go ahead and get started. So as you can see here, I have a picture of my camera. And before I start anything, I'm just going to right click on the thumbnail here and come down to processing operations and just go to clear. All right, uh, now I'm going to just go ahead and close the camera roll there, and you can see I have my image. And before I do anything else, I'm just going to real quick take my straightening tool and draw a line across the horizon there to straighten this out just a tad. And then turn on my crop. And I think I want to put this on Instagram, so I'll change the ratio to a one by one ratio. And then holding down shift, and left click, 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 holding down shift and left clicking, I'll just go ahead and move that over to center my camera in the frame. Okay. And since we're just talking about color science here, and I'm just going to hit auto levels and just let the raw therapy go ahead and decide what's nice. And I'm going to bump the saturation up to 20 so that there's a little more color. Alrighty, uh, now let's come over here to the color tab. And there's the white balance, which is great if you want to change that. Um, vibrance is something I always like to add a little bit of in my pictures. I'll change that to about 22, uh, or 20 as well, I guess. And you can see that it just kind of punches up the colors a little bit. Um, okay, there's the channel mixer, which is something that we'll talk about in later tutorials. I'm just going to go ahead and close all of these out until I get down here to color toning. Now we've talked about color toning in previous tutorials. If I turn that on and right now it's in the color correction regions. If I just grab this dot and I move it over you can see that it uh, really affects the colors of my image. This is a really easy way to color tone. Um, I'm going to hit the reset button there and instead I'm going to come here and on the method area, I'm going to do color balance, shadows, midtones, and highlights. There we go. So now this is much more similar to programs like Lightroom, where you can really deal with certain parts of the image instead of dealing with the, the color throughout the whole image. So let's say that I want uh, you know a little bit of interesting contrast here. Let's say that I want um, the image to be a little bit warmer. Well, I could come here to the midtones, and I could just uh, maybe pull the blue a little bit closer towards yellow. If I pull it all the way towards yellow, you, you can see what happens. If I, um, you know, I don't want it to be that pronounced. So I can maybe, I, I like that. And then maybe I'll grab the blue and red slider here. And if I pull this more towards blue, you get green. But if I pull it more towards red, it really warms the image up. So, um, you know, these sliders are really great. If I if I want, so I've got kind of a warmer mid-tone. Maybe I want a little cooler in the highlights. So I might pull this a little bit towards the blue. And pull this a little bit towards the blue. You can see I've actually just kind of counteracted um, what I did in the midtones, and but I'll do this as well in the shadows. Okay, so I am not a color specialist by any stretch of the means, but uh, this is just how you do it. You can choose your highlights, your midtones, and your shadows, and then down here, this is really important: the strength. The strength, if I push that all the way up, whatever these multi these values are, um, are at 100%. But if I pull it all the way to zero, it actually goes back to what my original uh, my original color was. And so let's say that I really, I'm going to put that at 100. I'm going to really push the colors here. Okay. So you can see I'm even kind of breaking the image right here. Um, the shadows, let's see, I want this to be, you know, 
with something pretty stylized. Something kind of like a, a cooler. Okay, so I'm going to call this my image. But now I can, I can, well, the great thing about raw therapy is if you want to see what your image looked like beforehand or without that certain tool being used, you can just turn it off and turn it on, which is really helpful. But then I can choose how much of what I just did to my image is applied. So I, I can, I've already set all my colors and then I can just increase the strength. Maybe I just want it a little bit or maybe I want it more, maybe I want it at 100%. So anyway, that's one method for color toning your photos in raw therapy. I hope this has been helpful. Please uh, like, comment, subscribe if you so choose, and I will see you in the next tutorial.